Today we are going to talk about the countries that we considered to move to and why we didn't choose them. So on our short list we have Thailand, Spain, Italy and Romania. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to move to Greece. To Greece. <laughs> so uh -huh. as you may know by now, um, we moved here, we are in Crete, Greece. We moved here from the UK. This is Raul and Amalia, <laughs> Sampire. And this is... A raw, unedited, unfiltered video. <laughs> yeah. Hello. 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 Uh, this is our series of raw, unedited, unfiltered, uncut. So basically, we're going to film, we're going to take you with us on a walk. We're not going to cut anything. We're not going to edit anything. Is as natural as it gets. So it feels more like a conversation between some friends here. Yeah. <laughs> Another walk and talk. <laughs> yeah. If you're not used to our English, our English is shit, especially mine. From what <laughs> to I put in the context. <laughs> from what I noticed from the last one. Uh, if you haven't seen the last one, go haven't check. Seen. If you haven't seen the last one, <laughs> go and check it out. And now we're going to talk about the countries that didn't make it. And why? And why? Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's talk about, to start with, so the Romania. list, the list was, <laughs> again, the list is Thailand, Italy, Spain and Romania. So these were the countries that we took into consideration to move and to. And Greece, of course, but Greece is the winner, so we're not going to talk about that one. <laughs> yeah, to move to, this was the list. So let's talk about Romania. Romania, it's our country, we were born in it. Yeah, it's our native country and um, to be honest, <laughs> on my list, it wasn't even on my list. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Raul's idea. In my opinion, uh, Romania was always like a backup plan just in case the country we wanted to move to, you know, things didn't work out or we didn't end up there or for whatever reason we needed to move back this was the moving back point so like we didn't consider moving back to the UK and uh, we thought okay since UK is out of the question um, in case things don't work out where are we gonna end up so I think for me it was always some sort of the last the last plan like the last place I want to be in but yeah it it was let's say on the list but just as a backup plan for yeah, me. It, it was more like my my plan yeah. part of my plan to maybe move to Romania you from know, UK. The thing is you wanted so bad to get out of the UK that you didn't even you know, for you, anything was better at that point. <laughs> you wanted so bad to just move out that you would go anywhere. And I think Romania was the easiest um, option out of all of them, obviously, because we speak the language, we were born there, we know how things are. So Slow down a bit. First of all, just admire this landscape because this is Conopidiana. If you see Conopidiana. That, Conopidiana, sorry. It's not bad only in English. No, <laughs> even in Romanian, I'm bad. <laughs> that house is the most authentic Greece house. Greek. Greek house from our pers from my perspective. I don't know from Amalia's. From yours, obviously, I don't know. I don't think you can see it. Uh, it's, we showed it in another video anyway. It's the one with uh, wh white and uh, blue windows and doors. Yeah, because it's white and blue, that's why. And the uh, pink flowers. And I this think. is a road, I don't know where we are now on the map, but we're close to the sea. You can see it there. <laughs> it's a very nice landscape here. Yeah, we like to take this walk every now anyway, and then. Anyway, I think we should discuss the pros and the cons of each country. So Not Romania... the pros and the cons, why we considered it and why we didn't, like our perspective on it. Yeah, I mean this perspective to yeah. move in. Romania was uh, my choice to put on the list uh, and that was because the pro things, the pro points were obviously we already know everything about the country. Yeah, everything that I would say accessibility, convenience. <laughs> 
language commodity <laughs> language it's it's a big part because you yeah. can understand easily with everyone yeah it would have been very easy for us to just settle in and just you know start something maybe a small business or whatever but just to accommodate much much easier yeah then um, it was cheap i mean cheap into perspective not even hello hello <laughs> <laughs> Hello it was again. more affordable than the UK for sure. Nothing is cheap anymore. Yeah, by the you way. Have, yeah, this Nothing is something is you have to take into consideration. When we say cheap or affordable, we compare it maybe to the UK or yeah, basically, but nothing is cheap. No, anywhere. if you think <laughs> yeah, Greece is expensive, everywhere it's expensive. Yeah. You go to everybody struggles. Yeah. But we're gonna talk about this in another video. So Romania have some good points but Amalia it was completely a no yeah for me it was as I said it wasn't even on a list I mean to to <laughs> say it shorter the shorter version of it too much had happened there for me I just don't feel at home when I'm in Romania I don't feel comfortable Amalia doesn't feel at home at home. <laughs> it's the That's truth. It's the yeah, truth. Yeah. I don't want to say yeah, one of the cons. bad things about Romania. It's not only about, you know, the economic or whatever, or the people. It's just for me personally, whenever I'm in Romania, I can stay there for a week and I'm fine. But after that, I feel like I have to go back home and home is not Romania anymore for me, unfortunately. So, yeah, I just... I don't know. I there are many reasons for that, but I just I wouldn't feel comfortable to go there. Yeah, one Not of the cons. Anyway. One of the cons was the history that we have there. Yeah. Because we have a lot of memories that. Are Look not... at that! I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but <laughs> now it's your. This thing. is amazing. Yeah. Come on now, and I go. This is a small gorge Ooh. close to Amalia. <laughs> the wind is too strong. <laughs> It's think, gonna blow me away. You think we can go no, down I there? No, I think we shouldn't not today, go there. Not today, not today. Like never. <laughs> but look at the beautiful landscape. That's why we chose Greece. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Back to the point. The cons of Romania. Yeah, so this was was for me the main thing. I didn't want to be there. So for obviously you. the politics, the bureaucracy is like here in Greece, very hard to deal with. Yeah, corrupt A struggle. Country. Yeah. A lot of good and bad points, but yeah. was out of the list. But why was out of the list for you? Just because I didn't want to move there or why? Yeah, well, hmm? how was about how was for me to move in Romania and you to move <laughs> elsewhere? No, I mean, what made you decide? Only this, that I didn't want to be there or? Well, no, but you don't have beaches there. Yeah, the I weather, think... <laughs> the climate. Mm. Mm. When the when the winter comes in Romania, you can have down to <laughs> because it's not up to but down to minus 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 twenty, 20. degrees Celsius. I don't know how. Anyway, uh, it's cold. It's not that nice in the winter. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, I think in, the main thing is if we were to choose, we would obviously choose something with beaches, nice climate, you know, more advantages. Yeah. So out of the list because of that. Yeah. Then we had. Thailand? Thailand. Thailand was ne next on the list and this is more tricky. I think the good points were it's a really affordable country compared to the others. It's a completely different culture that would have that we would have loved to experience. Yeah, Asian. Um, completely different continent. Yeah, and also the the landscape, the landforms, the um, the nature in general, everything is completely different there. And also the climate, very good. Yeah, it's very only, good climate, yeah. Only warm climate throughout the whole year, I think. Yeah. We haven't done much research no. on Thailand. No, it's a hot country for sure, but yeah, I think, again, we quickly realized the bad points. Uh, I think another good point for Thailand is the food and the kind people, but... Um, can I remember it we said very cheap, the cheapest on the list. Yeah, the, I think. Thailand was the cheapest, yeah. So. And also um, English. 
they are English speakers, not all of them, obviously, in a touristic place you can, um, you know, talk in English with people and uh, I think many of them would understand you and you can have a conversation, especially with the younger uh, people living there and also there is a big community of expats living in Thailand. So yeah, it was, it had some good points. But now the bad points. Yeah, on the other hand... Very far away. Yeah, so it's to... expensive to fly, it's not accessible for us, so obviously being on another continent, the flights there are really expensive and if something happens and you have to go back home in Romania... Um, Basically, Romania is our home because we have all our, it's our base, documents, yeah. everything there, so... Yeah, and even whenever something really bad happens health-wise, I always feel comfortable to go back in Romania because we have pretty good doctors there, it's more affordable to get private health care, and in general I can understand, you know, what I'm being told, I can understand what's going on and what I'm exp what um, the doctors are explaining yeah. so, to me. Okay, so, yeah, okay, okay, so health-wise hospitals and healthcare I wouldn't in so Thailand there, yeah. I don't think there is it, it's very developed I don't know how it is we never experienced it but I just wouldn't from feel what safe we, from what we yeah. heard and maybe it's dirty from what we we heard I don't know what to say about that one too but I think the main cons were these accessibility very hard accessible for us the language, they are not, you know, English natives, so obviously they speak their own language and I think when it comes to paperwork and, you know, sorting out legal issues would have been extremely complicated. But And being such a completely different culture overall, I think it's another con because we don't really understand how things work there and we don't have anyone anywhere really. So for us, this was a move that was based only on us. We don't have anyone that could help us, that could, you know... Yeah, so I think, thinking about this, the language was really, really important. Also, so, yeah. what we learn, learn, heard and noticed about Thailand after we made the choice is that the transportation, it's harder there. Yeah. It, it's mostly scooters. Yeah, the road is, scooters is not that and... good. Um, it's very busy. The water. It's not that safe. The water, it's a bit different from Greece. So yeah, obviously when you say a beach in Thailand is not, it doesn't look like a beach Because look beach at this here. water. <laughs> there is our beach. The, the closest. closest one. Yeah. But look how, how it looks. So in Thailand the water is more like a greenish, greenish yeah. and a cloudy. Not everywhere, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, there are some really beautiful spots in Thailand too. Yeah, not, landscapes yeah, it's are not like, amazing. But the water is different from what we would love. And, to have, yeah. And if we have, have a better choice, obviously we made that one. And another bad point, safety in general. I don't think we would have feel safe there. Yeah, yeah, safety Because wise. we are Europeans, really far away from home. Nobody knows us. It's just easy to disappear, you know? Like nobody will know. So until our families or friends or somebody notices... Yeah, until we are my gone. brother or your brother will notice. <laughs> yeah, that's this pretty is our much family. it. Yeah, this is <laughs> as far as our family gets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see how much time we have. 13 minutes. So, this, have to rush these things. <laughs> these raw, uncut, unfiltered, unedited videos, we will try to make them around 20 minutes. Yeah, we have seven we... minutes left. So, this was the Thailand. These were the things that put Thailand out on and list. out of the list. Yeah. Because in the past we were thinking about Australia and US, but these were not on our list at all in, on, yeah. in, uh, to our consideration from uh, UK now everybody is living the European dream there is no yeah, there, there is, is no, no American, American dream, dream anymore <laughs> Americans try to escape America nobody wants to go to UK okay anymore. let's go back to our subject we're gonna, because we're not gonna finish this video we're gonna talk about this in a later video okay next on our list was Spain Spain yeah the Latin brothers <laughs> yeah, it's a Romanian, not Romanian, Roman or ho not. How is the word? I forgot. 
Latin. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> because of the similarities in language, for us as Romanians, it's much easier to speak uh, Spanish or Italian to learn it, you know, and to speak it. Yeah, I had. But we don't know any Spanish or any Italian. I had a, a strong case with uh, Spain and because I thought I will learn fast uh, the language yeah. and uh, maybe find a location where it's cheaper to live. Like mm -hmm. I was thinking about Alicante. But anyway, let's talk about the pros. The pros is the language. Maybe it would have easier been easier to understand, than understand to and learn than yeah. speak. Yeah. Closer to, to Romania. Yeah, very Again. accessible. European country, similarities in culture, great beaches, nice climate, very similar to Greece in some ways. Yeah, yeah, in climate, in uh, sea, in beaches, in culture. The food is also good on our taste, so we like it. Uh, yeah, so good points on uh, Spain. But the bad ones, I I've, think... We forgot to say about Thailand, about visa issues and this... Oh, yeah, exactly. Legal forgot, issues, yeah. yeah. About that one. Because yeah, moving yeah. into European country, it's easy for us. Yeah. But moving outside, it would have been very tricky. Complicated. But yeah. now, pros of uh, Spain. Yeah, we talked about the pros. Uh, cons. Cons. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Let's talk about the cons. This video is a bit more... Uh, <laughs> it's not haughty. ...crazier than the other one. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, so cons about Spain, I think for me at least, which put it out of the list, is they don't speak great English pretty much anywhere. And this was a really big issue for me because even though it's easy for us to learn Spanish, it doesn't happen overnight. So for us, we needed to move as soon as possible. We wanted to move as soon as possible and just moving there all the all the things we had to sort out would have been very very difficult to do in a foreign language without anybody you know speaking english so we couldn't really understand some things legal things and also you know just settling in finding a long-term rent going by car all these things you know if somebody i hope you can hear us because this train is very loud yeah, i think we're going closer to airport or something yeah yeah, so this is what I thought. Uh, I thought it's going to be much, much uh, more complicated um, because of this issue, because of the language issue. And Raul was keep saying, we're going to learn, it's going to be fine. But I just, I didn't want to. I didn't want to struggle again. I didn't want to get maybe, uh, I don't know, emergency job where nobody would treat me nice because I don't speak any Spanish. So yeah, anyway. For me, it was a no. It was a no from the get-go because of this reason. For me, because we visited Spain, we were in holiday, I don't know, 2018, 2019, something like that. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. But we were in Palma de Mallorca. So... I liked it too, you completely know. But different, very expensive, yeah. but... Yeah, I was stuck. A lot of things to take into consideration. I was stuck with that image in my mind. Another big thing that I didn't like about Spain is that there are a huge amount of Romanians there and I feel like there is some sort of preconception about Romanians and in maybe some countries. A bit, yeah and maybe in Spain in particular I, I'm talking about Spain yeah this I think it's um, goes to Italy as well a lot of Romanian people there too and I think we would have experienced a little bit of racism we did experience this in UK as well. We're fine with it, but just, I didn't want to. This all preconceptions about Romanians, all the things, I didn't want to deal with it. I felt like here in Greece, we would have been more welcomed and this is how it is. It's just the truth. Yeah, the people are different here. Yeah. But we don't know much because we haven't There are been... good and bad people everywhere, but overall, this is how we felt at least. Yeah. I mean, I, how I felt. <laughs> so I think this put the Spain out of our list, these things. Yeah, and the only one left was Italy. Again, the pros, very similar to Greece, great beaches, Mediterranean country, great food, great water, similar culture, easy, a really nice place to live. Easy to learn language, Italian, yeah. because 
somebody told us in uh, comments uh, I'm really curious why we di you didn't move to Italy because it's very similar and it's much easier to, to learn your language. language. Exactly, it is. It is very similar. Uh, but for the same reasons as, as Spain, I think we can get to the cons now. Yeah, let's they see. They don't speak. Um, let's see. We have 20 <laughs> minutes, so we need to end this. Wrap things up. Yeah, as we wrap things up, Italy went out of the list just because the same as uh, in Spain. Language was an issue, they don't speak any... I mean, they speak English, but, you know, not as much as here. No, and no, And no. it's a bit more expensive than Greece. It's the most expensive from all these countries. Yeah, it's mo more expensive. They don't speak English, they speak English the less, because we visited uh, yeah, Italy. Yeah. So they don't, even in the touristic spots, they two don't times. really speak. We visited Italy two times. They don't really speak English at all, I would say, because from what we experienced everywhere we would go, even to the shops or everywhere, even if we ask something in English, they would reply in Italian. We would understand a few things. But yeah, I think these uh, in the long run for the settling in and everything would have made things much harder. Yeah. And also... A lot the, of Romanians the, there. Yeah, this one, but the driving when I, when I drove there, I don't know where, but it was horrible. It was trickier than here in Crete. With, the, with their scooters all over the place. More <laughs> it's similar than here. to Greece, yeah. Oh, I would say it's, it's worse. Yeah, Raul didn't really consider no, Italy for these reasons. The highway. So Italy was on the bottom of my list, actually. Yeah. On, on the top of my list was Romania and Spain. How was your list? For me, it was only Greece. <laughs> I, it's true. But I, except look, Greece, for I me, put, was... I put them on the list. I considered Spain. I considered Italy. Thailand was on the bottom of my list purely because I knew all the issues would affect us and I didn't want to complicate things. Romania was not even on the list. So for me, it was Greece on the top and I really put all my eggs in that basket and hoped so for the best. <laughs> we're not talking about Greece because we're in another 20 minutes of pros and maybe some No, you cons. already know why we're here. Yeah. We did this you already in know, but past Greece videos. was the top on our list and yeah. this didn't took much. It took only one or two days. Yeah, we had these conversations everything. and talked about these things and then we decided it's going to be Greece. And here and we are. Yeah, so let's wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Thank please, you for spending the time with us. If you like if you like this unfiltered, raw, uncut, unedited, please press that like. It really helps us to make more of videos like this. And let us know what you think. I'm really curious what you think about our decisions, about the other countries, about the pros and cons. We, I don't know... Yeah. From our opinion, we put there, we put out there. What Wh do you think about this? Which country would you move in? <laughs> would you move in? Would you move in? <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.